Now, back to Miller on Sports, the show where everyone feels like rushing the field. Everything else is just talk. Brought to you by the law offices of Ron Scholes. This ball knuckles, bounding down. Wait a minute. He's, wait a minute. He's running the You're wrong way. You're going the way. wrong way. Holy moly. How often do you see that? How often do you see that? <laughs> Oh, Kent State linebacker, what happens? You go the wrong way. Oh, college football season is underway. I was trying to keep up as much as I could with South Carolina Vandy last night. South Carolina coming from behind. That Connor Shaw injury could have been pretty, pretty bad. An update with Cliff Warren. Had an unofficial visit pop up, so we'll try and do it early next week. We'll try that for Miller on Sports. Find us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, all that fun stuff. It is... Miller on Sports right here on 1600 The Beach, and we do it every Friday. In studio, she joins us. She is Alexis Kemble. Every Friday in studio, she's back from her illness right here. We're going to talk Jags and much, much more as well. Make sure you listen to her. You can find her on the Promise Shop Fridays from 9 until 10 a.m., 3 to 4 p.m. It's on 91.7, also 91.9 FM for St. Augustine. Online purchases anytime at I Love the Promise. Dot com. How are you, Alexis? I'm great. I feel so much better. I'm sorry I had to miss last Friday. I was that, bummed. That's quite all right. It, it, was it something going around? Because if, if so, I need to be notified. I know. Well, Teresa <laughs> was on the promise, I think, kind of okay. came down with it, too. But her son has it, too, so maybe it wasn't from me. Okay. Is this is this part of sharing a mic? Is that what happens? I know. I know. I probably need to, like, get the covers. I tried to stay away from him last week, though. But it was bad. I mean, I, hmm. I like, Wednesday night, it hit me like a train, and then I left, like I told you, work from like 1.30 on Friday, and I went home to bed. <laughs> Was that the train that MJD's on? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just, yep. a, just a little Friday humor there. Uh, all right, so you're better. <laughs> and I did hear that a lot of people had this, whatever it was. It, I know. it was going around. I don't know if it's a summer cold or some kind of virus. I mean, for me, it was more of a cold because, like, I just took the medicine. You know, I didn't mm-hmm. have to go to the doctor or anything, and it's out of my system. For the first time this past Wednesday, like two days ago, it took a week for me to feel myself. But still, isn't it depressing when it happens right? You're going into the weekend. Yeah, and- terrible. <laughs> Absolutely, I'd rather miss a week of work, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> that that's a good call. I like that. Yeah. She is Alexis Kimball right here on Miller on Sports. Uh, do you play fantasy football? Because we have a draft. Tuesday at 2 o'clock. I am so stoked. I haven't played in a couple years, but I'm excited. Are you rusty? Have you been researching, reading up? Uh, I started yesterday, actually, so I can uh, kick some butt on this on this uh, office party of a fantasy football draft. Uh, g- give me the knowledge that you acquired the other day, and I, I might try and help you. Well, for quarterbacks, Okay. all right, I'm thinking maybe Drew Brees. That's solid, always. Um, I, as much as I don't want to say it, maybe some Eli. So, yeah, very now, good. Now, what about Matt Schaub? Because I'm I'm iffy because of his injury, and I'm like, I've always been a fan. I think he's great. I'm like, he's going to come back strong. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll give you a little advice. It's free advice. Uh, we're friends. But we're going to be playing against each other. Yes, and I plan on beating you every single week <laughs> that we play. And <laughs> okay. Well, I'm, I'm just letting you know. It, it's The fact of it is, Matt Schaub, that foot injury, and, and since we're in a six-team league, don't don't pick him up. Okay. It's not worth it. All right, so it, I should stick with Eli, maybe, or I, I'd go with some Eli. Drew. It, depending on his injury, Matthew Stafford could be incredible. Yeah. So I, I'd go with him. Okay. And I'm taking yeah, notes. I, I think you have plenty plenty of options. Stay away from Matt Schaub. How long can I use you till Monday morning? Um, After Monday, you're not going to talk to me anymore about drafts because Tuesday afternoon. Me against you. <laughs> you, you, you. You receive three phone of friends. Oh yes. And two text messages. I'm writing this down. Uh, okay, you better because I'm not remembering it. Three phone of friends. Yes, and two Four text, texts. No, two, two <laughs> text messages, and half an email. Half an email. Half an email. Is, is that like half a paragraph? Fine, we'll go with two sentences. Perfect. Okay. I can work with that this weekend. All right. When I'm getting my team ready. I'm letting you know. I'm going to beat you. It's it's simple as that. Can I ask one more question? Go ahead. Yeah. San Antonio it's, Holmes. It, it's a phone a friend. San Antonio Holmes. Uh, stay away. Really? Yeah. No. No. Uh, stay away from the Jets. Uh, again, a, a lot of this has to do with we're in a six-team league. I understand. And, and you you can't don't reach for anything. I got to go for the best of the best. Best of the best. Cream of the crop. All right. Like Miller on sports. She is Alexis Kimball joining <laughs> us every Friday in studio here on The Promise Shop. Fridays from 9 until 10 a.m., 3 to 4 p.m. 
Online purchases anytime at ilovethepromise.com. You were at the game last night. You walked by. You showed me your Jags shirt. Represent. What did you think? Fourth preseason game, Jags-Falcons. What did you see? Um, well, I mean, you know, we usually don't play the starters like we do in the first three, so you have to take that to account. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm happy. I'm actually relatively happy going into the season. Relatively happy? Why is, <laughs> why, why is it relative? I mean, like, I'm not as pumped as I wanted to be. I guess because, you know, first play and you're going to get turn the ball over. I mean, come on. Like, that was depressing. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, gosh, I'm going to sit here for four quarters of this. Right. Um, but, you know, we rebounded. I was impressed. You know, we answered everything that we did. We answered them. Mm -hmm. You know, ended up winning, which doesn't really mean anything. But at the same time, it still gives them motivation. Mm -hmm. And I'm excited. I think between Gabbert and Blackman and Jennings, like, they're solid. I, I would agree with you, as well as Mike Thomas. I think he's yeah. looked very good this preseason. Kevin Elliott, 77, 77 yards touchdown. That was touchdown. insane. It, it, it was. That, that was the play that sealed him being on this team, at the very least a practice squad. I was in the buzz zone when that happened, and the place went nuts. How, how was the feel? How was the atmosphere in the stands? Because I was there for the Giants game in uh, section, I think, 221, but I was in the press box last night, and, and in years past, you, you can't really – get a good feel of the stadium and everything. Right. Uh, what was the atmosphere? Well, I remember the Giants game, we had a lot more move those chains, yeah. which which that's always uplifting because everybody comes together and does that. And a lot more people. True. But you know what I think last night was the whole issue of 6.30 on Thursday night. That, that and was, yep. it's the fourth preseason game. Everybody knows what's going to happen. It's not going to matter. It's not going to be played like the you know first three. And, and like you mentioned, you're not going to see Matt Ryan. You're not seeing Julio Jones, Roddy White, or Tony Gonzalez. Right. And, and, and a lot of people, as, as sad as it is, I think, I mean, especially when we first got the team, I know we went. We were excited to see other players, mm -hmm. you know, other Hall of Famers come because we didn't have any yet. Yeah. But, you know, it's exciting to see that. But um, we had some Falcons fans right behind us. I had to have a little chat with them, <laughs> but they were good. They were good. One was one lived here, and then they had some people come down. Uh, that's pretty common. There, there yeah. are a lot of Falcons fans right here in Jacksonville. Would you would you say that you're ready for the regular season? I'm pumped. Yeah. I'm all in. Did you see my status yesterday? I'm all in. I all like, in. Let's okay. go. I'm ready for tonight. How many L's? Probably like six or seven. Six or seven. You have to L's? be okay. all in. All in. It's it's all or nothing. <laughs> exactly. From what I've been told. Exactly. All right, you're back with us. Give me. The biggest positive about the Jags and the biggest negative. Biggest positive, I'm going to say, is teamwork. And, like, I, I, I kind of feel like with Mojo being gone, like, it forced them to not rely on one person to win the games. Mm -hmm. You know, him and Scobie. Right. So I think it brought them together. Negative, I still think Gabbert needs some work. Mm -hmm. I mean, granted, like, he looks so much better than last season, and he can, you know, he holds his form, and he doesn't, he doesn't act scared, you know, and he makes these connections with black men, and I think them two are going to be really good. But that's my negative, is just more, him being more secure and, and, and a leader. But, and, and that's one of those things, I've seen the growth, I've seen the development, I'll tell you what, he, he is a clear-cut leader of this team, at least for the offense. To me, it was so obvious last night in that locker room, he is definitely a leader a lot has changed uh, since year they one. They look up to him now. You can tell. They do. They definitely do. And I'm not sure if it's because of the, you know, the goatee. The haircut. Bit. The haircut could do a lot. I mean, he looks like a completely different person. He does. I do want to bring this up because you're a big Red Sox fan. We saw the trade last Friday. You know how much it killed me to be sick on that Friday when I just wanted to explode? I, I know. You, you did not have to tell me or anything. I, I knew... <laughs> Are you upset about this? What are your feelings? Because I know before that we talk about Bobby Valentine almost every other day. I know. Um, I think I'm kind of upset about everybody but Beckett. Beckett, I mean, to say the least, has not done anything this season. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just not Beckett. Um, but I, you know, I'm a huge Braves fan too, and I think this puts Dodger, this puts the Dodgers in a powerhouse. You know, I'm not just looking at the Sox. I'm looking at the National League. I'm looking at, you know, MLB itself. Like they're mm -hmm. gonna, that's incredible. To have that, that have those three, and those this, four. this is a team that also locked down Hanley Ramirez. So they they've been working and spending all this money after they spent what was it two point one two point two billion dollars. The four of them are worth a quarter of a billion dollars, mm. and for for like basically what like no names. And then I saw an article about possibly about Nick Swisher possibly to the Sox because he's a free agent. Oh goodness! I mean that just got me riled up, and I saw it right before I came in here. So. I'm trying to overcome it. Okay. Well, don't don't explode like you could have last week. It, it's one of those things, though, Alexis. When it comes to baseball free agency, it, it is just it gets crazy. Right. 
I understand. And then there's no, there's no loyalty at all. There's no, if they're going to give me five more million dollars, it doesn't matter. Just like Manny going to the Dodgers. I mean, like, the Dodgers just love us. Uh, you, did you see my face? I, I did. That's what you, you said. Uh, yes, I understand. And right. then I saw a switch go off. <laughs> You're ready for the weekend, aren't you? I am. I'm excited. Happy right. Labor Day. Are, are you 100% now? Yes. Okay. Definitely. I am seeing Ray's Yankees Monday. You are? You're going to Tampa? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I'm jealous. Send me it's a pic. It's fun. I will. I'm a, excited a for picture. you. picture. I'll send you a couple. Okay. Maybe some fantasy. That doesn't count as my two texts, though. Okay. I'll send you some fantasy football updates. Best of luck Tuesday. You too. Enjoy your weekend. We'll Let's... let everybody know next Friday about what that... goes on in the draft. That sounds good. All I right. like it. Alexis Kimball joining us in studio Every Friday, Alexis, enjoy your weekend. Thank you, you again. Thank you. Have fun in Tampa. I will. Chris Houston up next, the Heisman Pundit, right here on Miller on Sports and 1600, The Beach.